So, this one came in. This is a Have a Word. Oh, fine. Play the theme tune. You, you can't hear it, neither can I. You can't. Come on. Um, so, this, uh, this is from Lauren. She doesn't want it to be anonymous. She hasn't said so. But she has asked specifically, because she's Geordie, for it to be read in a Geordie accent. Don't do it, Adam. <laughs> now. It's African and it's racist. <laughs> no, I'm can, telling you. I can do Geordie. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Newcastle. I've seen, I've heard you do it. How are you? Oh, the lit, oh. loving the pod. <laughs> That's not bad. That's a Geordie girl, though. Sorry, what, what part of Lagos are they from? <laughs> Do it. No! It's way funny if you do. <laughs> Loving the pod. I, I don't know who's in the wrong the most here. So feel free to have a word with any of us. <laughs> what? That's good. Are you trying to start a sing song? <laughs> I don't know this one. If I'm going to taint his old man, old man. <laughs> Can you do it? Right. Chino swing it. Hi, lids. Loving a pod. I don't know who's in the wrong here the most, but feel free to have a word with any one of us. I was messaging a guy called Aaron, e e Ron, for a couple of weeks before agreeing to go with him to the late... I'm not doing the whole thing. To the late district camping for the weekend. He was helping his friend out by doing paddleboard and instructing while his friend was away. It was going fine until the last night when Connor, his friend, came back with his girlfriend, Sophia. We went on a double date to a local restaurant and it was all fine until we went to another pub after that... Uh, Aaron and Sophia, his girlfriend's, his friend's girlfriend, were getting increasingly flirty to the point where I made a joke about swinging because things were that awkward. By the end of the night, my date Aaron had his arm round Sophia, touching her leg. Her boyfriend didn't even react, and I was feeling so awkward. This continued when we went back to the campsite. We kept on drinking and built a fire. They were on one side, and me and the boyfriend were sat on the other. They kept getting more and more flirty. I couldn't help but fit, uh, make jokes to diffuse the tension. Is this a letter to Penthouse? <laughs> <laughs> I and feel then, like it's going to... Jimmy, can let me be quite erotic. And then he got his massive throb and cock out, and I was like, what? Your dick's Little did massive. he know. And Little he, did he know, I was watching on the whole time from the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> and like a proper Geordie Romanic, he stuck it in my ear. Um, eventually, Connor had had enough of the way they were going on. He invited me to walk with him to the toilet block after I said I needed a piss. Really Geordie Romantic. Like, yeah, I know it's nice. I went with him, and as soon as we got out of their sight, he started necking me, trying to put his hands down my pants. This is Connor, by the way, the one with the girlfriend. I was so annoyed at Aaron, I just went with it. I was technically single after all. To cut a long story short, I ended up bent over a gate in a sheep field. <laughs> no, I am going to read that in a Geordie accent. <laughs> to cut a long story short, I ended up bent over a gate in a sheep field. <laughs> Proper classy. After he finished, Connor said he felt guilty and he we just went back to the campfire and acted like nothing had happened. Aaron and Sophia still message me now and are still flirty. I still message now. They are both none the wiser to Connor cheating with me. Are we completely in the wrong for what we did or are they in the wrong for flirting and mugging us off to provoke our actions? Who do you need to have a word with? Also, tell Aaron and Sophia, even though it's been over a month since. Uh, also, should I tell? Oh, sh oh, okay, good. Just words, use your words. Uh, should I tell Aaron and Sophia, even though it's been over a month since it happened? Um, that was a busy email, wasn't it? There's a lot going on there. So that was busy. her boyfriend flirted with someone. Yeah, and she got so shot. she shagged someone, someone else. Shagged someone in a field immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it was like absolute instant karma. Didn't even have a word with him. Just went right. Stick that up me right now. <laughs> Other random guy. Fucking do that. The, the that email feels makes it, like it makes it sound like this was a first date as well. She went to the Lake District on a first date. I've been I mean, messaging him a bit, and then we went camping. That's very <laughs> sort of. And I joked about about uh, <laughs> I joked about swinging. <laughs> well, that's how every conversation about swinging has started. No one goes right swinging. It's like <laughs> it's going to be a bit of light chat first before the swing happens. Um. I think uh, she is, uh, yeah, I think she's 100% in the wrong in this, isn't she? Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. She's single. She's single. I mean, I've got no problem with her fucking Connor. Uh, I, had she even fucked Aaron? No. I'm not sure he did anything wrong. He was just flirting with His someone. mate's girlfriend, though, and they're being all touchy. I know, but it is quite something in it. Like he was touching her leg, <laughs> so I got bent over a fence. Also, but and whoa, 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 fucked. Whoa, whoa. You know, like let's not <laughs> skip over that because he had his arm round her and was touching her leg, which makes me think he might be Mr. Tickle. <laughs> 
Where's he gone in there? Um, I don't know. I mean, it feels like these are young, single people exploring each other's bodies in the countryside. What a what a lovely thing. We should get the girl from Thailand involved. <laughs> Wow, that really felt like a yeah. like a video you watch in biology. These yeah. are young people <laughs> in it's the countryside. Young, healthy people, bent Lovely. over a field. Lovely. Some poor Fucking. fellows walking the dog going, what's going on here? Oh, no, you don't understand. This is Connor. My boyfriend was flirting with someone. Yeah, just bang on into me. But what happened was... <laughs> and she reads that email out. Like, I'm not sure as well. The, the, it's the time lag on the revenge shag. That, that, that worries me here. Minutes. It's the idea that you're like minutes, like they're at the campfire, he's on that side of the fire, we're on this side of the fire, I'm going for a pee. Yep, fuck him. <laughs> like, yeah. feels pretty instant. And if you're ever in a relationship with this girl, never lose her at a house party. <laughs> <laughs> because it'll get busy. Yeah. Why are, you, why are you sucking off that stranger? You looked at that waitress twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was awful. Okay. I was awful. That was quick. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, she knows. She's basically done a have a word that's a confession. It's, yeah, ju- yeah. it's another confession, really. She's she sent it in under the guise of a have a word, but yeah, you, sh- you know, like it's not like you're married. It'd be so much more sordid if we're like, we're both in our early 40s, but I do get fucked pretty quick if he even looks anywhere. So <laughs> I think that, that Jimmy's right. They're young. Who cares? Yeah, have fun. Young yeah, none of those relationships are going to last or go the distance, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. You've ruined nothing. And you've got yourself a good dick in. He was lost. <laughs> what a romantic you are, Adam. <laughs> a good a good dick in is a phrase that's not... I think... Are you quoting... There's that from Pride and Prejudice. Because there's that, there's that sequence where Mr. Darcy gives her a good dicking, isn't there? Yes. Yes, no, I remember now. It's, it's a beautiful piece, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, always, I, it... Hear, I always hear Darcy with your accent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come here now. I'm going to fucking dick you. Do you know... So, Mr. Darcy... The first time we met, uh, the first time you, it was a, uh, you, you won't even remember it, maybe not. We, oh, we did I definitely a, won't remember it. We did a benefit gig for Dave Johns at the store in London. And it was like a stacked bill. It was like for the comedian support fund thing. He did 45 before each act. <laughs> right. Go on. Yeah, I remember that gig. You, you heard my accent and you was like, oh, uh, you're from Liverpool. I went, yeah. And you went, John Bishop's here. Shall I just tell him to fucking go home? We don't need both of you. <laughs> Seems about right. That's a, that, I don't remember that, but that sounds like the kind of shit I would say. Jimmy, this has been an absolute pleasure to have you in this studio. An honour and a privilege for you. <laughs> it's been really fun, boys. I've got to say, I, I, I very much like it. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. 